I'm just about to reveal how you can make use of ChatGPT for absolutely free in order to write some of the best YouTube scripts you've ever written, so let's get started. And I'm gonna cut right to the chase. The first thing you need to do is head over to OpenAI. This is where you can start interacting with ChatGPT and it's absolutely free of charge. So you don't have to pay any subscription, you don't have to pay any one-time fee. This is just a language model that is constantly being developed. And the fact that you're interacting with the AI actually helps its development. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. And to be honest, it can do some amazing things. It's got insane capabilities. It can explain difficult concepts in very simple terms. It's pretty good with creative ideas. And it can also write code. However, it does have its drawbacks. For instance, Something you might have noticed is that it has limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. In other words, ChatGPT cannot access the internet. It's got a huge database behind it that it's making use of, but it cannot access the World Wide Web. And so, if you ask it for some of the most recent news about a specific topic, it will not be able to provide you with any answer whatsoever. Not only that, but if you're using ChatGPT for content writing purposes, you're gonna notice that most of the times, the content it produces fails the plagiarism test. Here's what I mean. Let me just ask ChatGPT to write an article about the best side hustles for beginners. I'm just gonna type that in and hit enter. And now ChatGPT is going to do its thing. And take a look at this. It's starting doing its job right away. But what I'm gonna do is actually put it to the test. So once it's done writing this article, I'm simply going to copy that whole body of text and I'm going to put it through qtext.com, which is a plagiarism checker that allows you to paste in your text and it is going to check all over the internet looking for similar pieces of content. And so let me do just that. I'm simply going to copy this text right here, paste it in this box and send it over for checking. It shouldn't take more than a minute. And here's the thing, guys. If ChatGPT does actually fail the plagiarism test, that is quite a serious issue. Because in some instances, you cannot really use the text it produces because you might get in trouble. You might get a bunch of copyright related issues that might get your articles or videos taken down. And now guys, just as I said, the article is actually plagiarized. Over 45% of it is copied from different other sources. So this might actually get you in trouble. And that is because this is not what ChatGPT was designed to do. It is not a content writing service. It is a language model, which means that it's got some other capabilities we can make use of. Let me be a little bit more precise. In my opinion, ChatGPT is not necessarily the best software when it comes to writing text, but it is among the best ones when it comes to improving text and adding adjustments to it. And that is precisely what we are going to do. Again, this video is all about writing the best YouTube scripts using ChatGPT. So here's how you wanna go about it. First off, we need to do a little bit of competitor research just to understand what we are going after. And I've got a few different examples here lined up. For instance, if you connect to YouTube and you search for hook, this is a YouTube channel that is focusing on short documentaries. It's a very cool niche and as you can see, it's getting pretty good results. I mean, this video alone generated over 600,000 views. Needless to say, this channel is making a lot of money. They've got over 97 million views in total and that's quite significant. Now, as you might expect, the most important part about creating these videos is the script and the research that goes with it. You do need to search all over the internet. You need to put a script together that is both informative and engaging, which is not the easiest thing to do. And for that reason, we're gonna make use of chat GPT in order to save a bunch of time and also do a better job than we would have. Look at this. I'm simply going to pick one of their most popular uploads. Let's go for this video. Now, what I'm gonna do is click on these three dots right here on the right hand side and then select show transcript. And what this will do is actually write the whole script in this box right here. And I can even toggle the timestamps so I can simply copy and paste it. I literally have access to the whole transcript for absolutely free. And this is the script that stands behind that video. Now guys, let's just say that I wanted to put together a very similar channel that's also focusing on short documentaries, but I cannot just copy and paste their ideas because that will not be efficient. Instead, I want to make it a little bit better. I want to make it shorter, straight to the point, engaging, but I still want to keep the same information without getting any sort of copyright related issues. Well, the first thing I could do is just copy the script and then use a tool such as the Quillbot, which is simply going to paraphrase the text. It is going to rewrite it using synonyms. And it does a pretty good job when it comes to that. You can simply click on paraphrase and it will turn your text into a new version within seconds. You can actually see it in real time as it's being modified. But the thing about it is that it didn't really change a lot. I mean, it did change the words, 
It did replace a bunch of words with their synonyms, but it didn't improve it. It's just using different wording. And that's one of the limitations of Quillbot. This tool is just used in order to paraphrase some text. But if you actually want to make improvements to it, this is where ChatGPT comes into play. And this is the reason I'm recording this video. You can actually take that video script to a whole new level just by asking ChatGPT for improvements. So let's just give it a try. Let me take a minute to format this text right here to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then I'm going to send it over to ChatGPT. And look at this. I'm simply going to ask it if it can make this text more engaging. Remember, this is a language model, which means that you can send instructions in a natural manner, as if you're talking to a real person. So you don't have to write any code, you don't have to send any particular sequences of text, you just have to ask it for whatever you want. So let me just send that and see what it can do. And as you can see, it has started rewriting that text as we speak. It will still convey the same exact message, and it's got the same information, but it is going to rewrite it in a more engaging manner because that's what I asked it to do. Now, I'm not going to waste your time actually reading this script right now because you can always pause the video and read it yourself. But as you can see, it did make a significant change, a much more significant one than what the Quillbot was able to do. But the thing about it is that we can do some even more impressive things. We can ask it to add humor to that version of the text. Let me do that right now. And as you can see, it started doing that. It is going to use a slightly different vocabulary and it is most significantly going to add humor. Again, you can take a moment to actually pause this video and read the script if you want to. Or I can do something entirely different. I can ask it for a more dramatic script, which is a little bit more suitable in this situation. So I'm just going to copy the second version here and ask it to make one more change. And again, I've just typed that in and hit enter and this is what it does. It will come up with a whole different version that I can reuse on my own channel. And the thing about it is that it is both time efficient, it does a pretty good job, and it is absolutely free of charge. If you ask somebody who is a freelancer, let's say, to do the same exact thing, they would probably charge you about $50 just for this. And I personally believe that if you're looking to start a YouTube channel in 2023, using artificial intelligence tools is one of the wisest things you can do. It is going to save you a bunch of time. It is going to increase the quality of your YouTube videos and it's really user friendly. Artificial intelligence has just become available for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a software engineer or you have no clue about artificial intelligence whatsoever, you can still use tools like ChatGPT and a bunch of other ones to improve your work. You can even do this if you're a copywriter and you want ChatGPT to make small tweaks and improvements to your copy. You can ask it to rewrite an email, you can ask it to rewrite an article, but as we've mentioned before, you cannot really ask it to do anything from scratch because in that case it will plagiarize and you cannot really ask it for the most recent news because it does not have the ability to browse the internet. But once you understand its limitations and its capabilities, that's when you can really make use of it properly. By the way guys, this was just one example, but I chose this channel in particular because it's a faceless one. Unlike my channel where I have to show my face in front of the camera and actually record these videos, when it comes to Hook here, the owner of this channel probably doesn't have to do anything. They are most likely outsourcing the work. They have a voiceover actor, they have a video editor and a thumbnail designer, and most likely a scriptwriter as well that does the research and puts the script together. But if you want to do something very similar to what they've done, you now know how. And it's not that difficult. You've got all the resources you need to make this work. So that's it for now and thanks for watching.